Hi, this is Richard Cannon from Down the Lane and this is the video diary for April the 18th, 2014. We'll be having a walk around the garden and if you hear the sound of the occasional shotgun going off, it's somebody down in the fields. Don't let it worry you. As long as it doesn't hit me, I don't care. Right, so we venture up the garden and past all the flowers which are starting out, or as I call them, stems with coloured bits on top. There's Big Ron just waking up. Hello, big boy. Here we go. Up past the pond, which in fact is an old bath. It's got three fish in there. Uh, the neighbours decided to fill their pond in and they forgot to take three of them out when they were taking the water out, so we have three adopted fish now. Here we are, the vegetable patch. As you can see, I've decorated it this year with some with some Buddhist prayer flags from Kathmandu last year. Very spiritual. So, just a quick look round what's going on. First of all, this is the area where the three sisters go. Sweet corn, courgettes and French beans. Beans. In the middle we have the onions growing rather nicely. I put the sets in three weeks ago. Around here is where the squash is going. Over there the broad beans which I'll be doing in a minute. And across the way to the runner beans with the beetroot growing along the middle. Oh, and then the smaller one, there's some carrots, more carrots in these tubs, and under the bread basket over there, I've got another three tubs of carrots. Now you see a lot of stinging nettles around here down the lane, and I let them grow. And we get some really good ones here, about five or six feet tall during uh, the summer, but they have so much uses for which you can read about in the frugal living section of the website. I'll put the link on at the end. They also grow all around the chicken run and that helps to stop the foxes digging and uh, stinging nettles have uh, built their own defences up against animals and against us basically and uh, foxes don't like them very much and uh, the roots as you all probably know go really deep so really good thing to have around and shows you've got soil with a lot of nitrogen in as well can't be bad everyone's a winner there's another use for stinging nettles I take all the dead bits off the bottom and stick them all over because there's a certain cat who I won't mention who does rather tend to like a nice bit of raked soil for purposes you can imagine. Here you can see the carrots growing. Unfortunately the soil I selected for this bit wasn't very good and there's lots of little weeds starting up. I'll sort those out very shortly. And in the tub at the far end, which incidentally is the soil from the chicken run, is perfect because so the chickens kill every known weed there is eventually. And that one's coming along very well. Some baby beetroots coming up. Outside the greenhouse we've got a load of sweet peas which will grow up alongside the runner beans and here's the broad beans which will be going in very shortly. Hard luck mate, you miss me. Now normally I would sow these direct into the soil late February but uh, this year it was so wet that uh, I sowed them indoors early March I think it was and they've been a bit slow to grow but they have to go out now or else they never will. 
inside greenhouse one, still a bit of tidying up to do and a soil preparation to put the tomato plants in. I think this year we've got 34 tomato plants. Should be enough, shouldn't it? All sorts of things growing in here, from marigolds to try and take off the black fly off of the vegetables, tomato plants. I forget what they are. Lupins, peppers, peppers, and some stems with coloured bits on top. This is greenhouse too. Excuse what's hanging up up there, but old underpants do make extremely good dusters. Here we got the sweet corn coming along rather nicely. Chilies. Nasturtiums growing there. Again, they're good for taking off the black fly. French beans, runner beans, courgettes, squash, and more tomatoes. Right, so it's time to put the broad beans in. I uh, dug this soil over about a month ago and then I put in some well rotted horse manure from that bag there. Uh, let it lay and a couple of days ago I put some uh, fish blood and, and bone in it. Excuse me if I got that around the wrong way. And so it's time to put them in. So there we are, brought beans in. As you can see, I've put more of the nettles in amongst it, a few sticks, and as an extra deterrent, I've uh, put a load of uh, black fawn twigs around the side, which have got very sharp ends. Uh, sorry, cats, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. So we'll see how they're getting on in a couple of weeks' time. So finally, it's the chickens. And I've just been out and I've uh, gathered some of their favourite stuff from around and about, growing between the stinging nettles. Loads of goose grass and lots of dandelion leaves. And I won't take it in the run. I'm going to put it in these little gaps. And they can help themselves, can't you, eh? Go on then. Life is good, onwards and upwards. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of vegetable growers and uh, a few people say to me, oh, you shouldn't be doing like that. Other broad beans, uh, they have to be so, so spaced and, and whatever. Well, all I'm doing has served me well for the last 14 years since I moved down the lane. And I always refer them to this and it's a game of golf and it was my first ever game I didn't have a clue I'd never played it before I'd just seen it on the TV and somebody asked me to play a round of golf and so I said yeah sure and I went along to the golf course and I put the ball down and whacked it as hard as I could and I went round the course doing exactly the same thing there's the hole over there whack and I went round in 93 Great, I thought, and so I went home, I bought books, I bought all the magazines, oh my goodness me, I should be holding it like that, or oh, I should be uh, standing like that, oh, the foot isn't right, oh, the shoulder's not right, etc, etc. And I went back and played, and I think it was about 136 that game, and I didn't get below 100 for about 50 games, and about, I should say, nearly two years. And so it's the old thing of, if it's not broken, don't fix it. 